Hello all, welcome to the video tutorial series on Blink, which is the most popular IoT platform. Blink IoT is made up of three parts. One first is the Blink application on mobile, second one is the cloud server, and third one is the device hardware. These three put together form the Blink IoT. Blink application can be installed on your uh, smartphone, either Android or iOS for both uh, Blink application is available. And second one is the cloud server. This is the Blink cloud, which can be either public or local Blink server. You can use either the public Blink cloud or you can install your own local Blink server on PC or uh, Raspberry Pi. In this tutorial, we'll be using the uh, public Blink cloud. And third one is the hardware which is the device with Blink libraries. As Blink works over internet, hardware should be able to connect to internet. So if you are using uh, Arduino, there is a, a wide range of uh, hardware supported. If you are using Arduino, you know like this, you need a ESP8266 or a Ethernet shield for uh, internet facility. Otherwise, you can go for uh, built-in Wi-Fi hardware like uh, Node MCU. This Node MCU is built on ESP8266 12E and it has got a built-in Wi-Fi. And the next one is the ESP32 which is more powerful than uh, Node MCU and it has got uh, a powerful Wi-Fi as well as BLE. And the third one is the uh, VMOS D1 Mini. This is very economical one with uh, inbuilt Wi-Fi. You can use uh, any uh, device, even Raspberry Pi also you can use as a device. So you have to install the Blink libraries on the IDE and then you can communicate with the app through the cloud server. So internet is must to use the Blink IoT. You can uh, communicate from device to app or from app to device through cloud. To start with, we'll uh, uh, use the Node MCU, which is built on ESP8266 12E. We'll plug on the e Node MCU on breadboard and uh, let us connect an LED at D1 pin, which is GPU 5. Long lead goes to D1 and the short lead through a resistor to ground. And let us connect the uh, USB cable to one of the USB ports of the PC open Arduino IDE and go to file preferences first we have to install the Arduino core for node MCU for this you have to uh, give the JSON link go to the link given in the description uh, below and copy the JSON link which is the boards manager URL for Arduino core on node MCU copy this JSON link and uh, use control V to paste it uh, in this uh, description in this box below now go to tools boards manager a separate window will open search for ESP8266 without uh, giving the JSON link you will not get anything in this uh, search window on boards manager so search for ESP8266 uh, select the latest version and then click on install depending on your uh, uh, internet speed it will be installed uh, within seconds once uh, Arduino core is installed you can select the node MCU from the list of boards manager now again go to file preferences we will also install the Arduino core for ESP32 also as in this uh, series of videos we will be using node MCU as well as ESP32 search for ESP32 Arduino core and then select the JSON link for the boards manager of ESP32. Select the stable uh, release link. Copy this JSON link and go back to the uh, Arduino IDE file preferences. Click on the box on the side and then already we have installed the for Node MCU. Below that you just paste this link also and click OK. Close this window and go to tw tools and boards manager and search for ESP32 
select the latest version and then click on install now we have installed libraries uh, boards manager for uh, Arduino core boards manager for node MCU as well as ESP32 so you can use uh, node MCU as well as ESP32 from this ID from uh, tools boards manager you can select esp32 development module or node mcu from sketch include library go to manage libraries now we are going to install the blink library so this blink library is installed using the library manager of ide uh, under sketch manage libraries search for uh, blink and then select the latest version and click on install so now your uh, blink libraries are uh, getting installed once it is finished you can uh, see from uh, file examples under blink you can see the list of uh, uh, example codes to try with now we will install the blink app on our mobile phone ours is uh, android mobile so go to google play store and search for blink app and then select the blink iot for android to install it will take some time to uh, get installed and once the app is installed clear, touch on open and then touch on create new account you have to provide your email id and then uh, provide a password to create a new account at the bottom you can see three dots that is for selecting the blink cloud as we are using a, a cloud server public we are not going to use that now touch on the new project to start the project with at the top you can see the left arrow icon that is to uh, log out and the next one is the uh, plus icon to give the project details and the third one is the qr scanner which will enable the camera to scan the qr code for a project and the last one is the icon that is for information account information and server we are using blink cloud not the uh, local private we are using blink cloud the details you can see under this now touch on new project and provide a project name as we are controlling led let us give a name led and choose the device as we are using node mcu select node mcu at the bottom you can just scroll the uh, screen and the uh, device selected you can uh, see the green color on the device there is no touch to select you just scroll and leave it on node mcu and uh, touch on ok and the connection type it is wi-fi for us other types of uh, connections are ethernet wi-fi usb gsm bluetooth and ble we'll select wi-fi and touch on ok the theme is uh, we'll leave it to dark theme default and then touch on create now an authentication token will be sent to the registered uh, email this authentication uh, token is main and you have to include this in your code at the top near the plus icon there is a nut icon you touch that for uh, uh, project settings under the project settings you have uh, two options at the bottom either to clone the project or to delete the complete project it is under the product project settings and uh, to access the uh, widget box you touch on the plus uh, icon now you get the widget box at the top you can see a free energy level of 2000 to start with it is uh, free for 2000 uh, energy level and a list of uh, widgets are given button timer uh, displays gauge lcd so each widget has got an energy level for example button has got 200 energy level lcd has got 400 energy level if you use a widget that energy will be directed from your account for example uh, we'll use a button now select button widget so that energy level is 200 that 200 will be directed from your account so now your energy level is 1800 
and if you want uh, more widgets you can add it and uh, your energy will be deducted from that suppose you do not want that button you just drag and drop to the trash box now that energy level will be added back so basic free energy level of 2000 and if you want to buy energy also you can uh, touch on that add button and you can purchase for cash if you want uh, use uh, uh, more widgets in your uh, big projects you can purchase this uh, energy pack otherwise uh, for basic projects this 2000 energy is free and you can use blink for free now to start with let us use a button widget you can drag and uh, uh, resize it on the canvas this button widget and touch on that to do the button settings first let us change the name of the button to LED any name you can give let us give LED and for output pin you have to select the pin there are three types of pins digital analog and virtual digital pin uh, we have selected a node MCU so automatically D0 to D10 is uh, displayed according to the hardware the pins will be displayed automatically analog there is only one analog pin A0 that is displayed for node MCU and virtual pins this is the most powerful part of the blink and you have got uh, V0 to V255 and for uh, understanding virtual pins we make a separate video that is for lesson 3 once you understand virtual pin you can do any project and you can understand the coding now select uh, digital pin D1 so that is digital so the levels are 0 to 1 and the, there are two modes push and switch let us make it as uh, uh, push and if you want to change the labels also you can uh, type in the name let us leave it to default names off and on and if you want the font size you can change it only three levels are possible let us change it to maximum size and the text color also you can change from the list of colors now uh, the settings for the button is done go back now uh, touch on the play button and the film button if you touch you can see the LED project is was uh, uh, is not at online now you have to do the coding part for this you have to keep ready with your uh, Wi-Fi password that is your local SSID name and the password for that uh, SSID and then the authorized token that authorized token is sent to your email while creating the project so the same authorized ID will be using for all the projects so copy this authorized token and uh, paste it uh, in a notepad so that you can use it in the code in future the mail we received uh, there is a link to sketch generator we can click on that uh, uh, sketch generator and it will land up on the blink examples uh, site this is a very uh, nice uh, location to generate our code this is the code generator uh, site now select the board as node mcu connection as esp8266 wi-fi and then under the authoriz authorization code uh, box you can uh, copy and uh, paste the authorization code we received in the mail you can use ctrl v to paste and under examples select blink blink and then wait for some time to the code to get generated and finally at the right side uh, you have a copy box you click on that copy icon the code will be copied now open the Arduino IDE uh, new window and delete the existing wide setup loop and paste this uh, generated code. Now let us delete the unwanted uh, commands and uh, uh, let us make this code simple. At the top you got uh, two header files that is automatically generated and then the authorization code as we already provided and uh, SSID you have to provide the SSID name of your uh, Wi-Fi local Wi-Fi and provide the password for that uh, SSID 
and uh, under void loop there is a simple serial dot begin and a blink dot begin other comments uh, will uh, delete and under loop there is only blink dot run so you, you need not uh, put much code under loop as it will uh, affect the process of blink so now this is the simple code for uh, controlling the led let us see the code at the top there is uh, uh, two header files included esp8266 wifi.h and then the blink simple esp8266.h so this header file if you check up your uh, blink library location under the documents audino you select the libraries and under uh, blink src folder you got the list of all the header files for uh, different hardware you have all the header files so this code generator has selected uh, blink simple esp8266.h for our code you can just open the header file and you you can have a look at the header file now close this window and go back to the Arduino IDE code so these two header files are automatically included by the uh, file code generator and then the authorization code is given a char array variable and uh, ssid and uh, password also given a char variable under void setup serial dot begin 9600 and then blink dot begin is used and it has got three parameters one is the authorization code and second one is ssid and third one is the password so using that ssid and password it will connect to the local wi-fi wi-fi and during uh, with the authorization uh, uh, it will connect with blink cloud under void loop there is only blink dot run there should not be much code inside the void loop now select the board as node mcu and then the port the relevant port select that port save this file and then click on upload the upload will take some time as we have, uh, we are using boards manager so the total firmware will get erased and uh, automatically get out uploaded once uploading is done now let us uh, go to the mobile app to check the uh, check whether this project is working we are connected a led at d1 that is gpu 5 now go to the app touch on the screen and uh, touch the play button at the top if you touch the film button you can see the project is online since the date is given date and time now touch on the button the led will be on if you take off the hand it will be off so oh, this uh, you can change this type of uh, uh, you can uh, go to the settings and uh, change the settings from push to switch now the button will act as a switch now touch on the uh, play button and then now touch the switch it will act as a switch this button will act as a on off switch uh, controlling the led from anywhere on the world thank you